Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the version 22624.1690. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this build for the beta channel. And of course, if you want to learn more about the beta channel and how the system works, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as for the Canary and the dev channel, we're getting the new Facebook widget on the beta channel as well. So to set it up, you just need to open up the store and the Microsoft store search for the Facebook app because you need to have the Facebook app installed and then you're going to be able to set up the Facebook widget on your widget section. So just click on install, wait for it to be set up and then you can exit out from the Microsoft store, open the widget section, click on the plus button and here select the Facebook widget. Yet again, you're going to have to set up your account and all that but I'm not going to do that in this video. Microsoft is also trying out providing alerts under settings and accounts, advising users to add a recovery email address or phone number to their Microsoft account to ensure that they never lose access to their account. Also, Microsoft is trying out a small change with some Windows Insiders where the recommended section of the start menu is changed to for you. And regarding changes and improvements, this is it for this build. Let's talk about a few fixes. Now we have an input fix, made another fix for the underlying crash impacting the ability to launch the touch keyboard slash pin entry on the login screen. Notifications, they fixed another 2FA code pattern which wasn't recognized and we also have a bunch of task manager fixes. They did some work to help address an issue which was causing random processes to sometimes get grouped under Microsoft Edge even though they weren't related. They fixed an issue impacting task manager reliability. The search icon should be easier to see now when using a contrast theme. Made the navigation pane a bit narrower. As part of this change, when necessary, the text will be wrapped now. The creation of live kernel memory dump file while the submenu has access keys now, pressing enter when keyboard focuses on one of the sections like memory in the performance page should now actually switch sections and also resizing task manager from the top of the window should work now. And with these things being said, this is all there is to it in this newest beta channel build for the Windows Insider program. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.